big data is one of the highest paying skills right now in a rapidly growing field with lots of job opportunities. Today I'll explain exactly what big data actually is. Now everything we do generates data, from running with our fitness watch to reviewing a restaurant or just using your app on your phone. Whether you think that's creepy or not, it's simply the reality. And data is everywhere, and companies that want to succeed nowadays make sure to use data in their favor when making decisions and when creating products. Just think about Google Maps. They have so much data about everything you need, and almost every single location in the entire world. Like, can you even imagine that? But when it comes to such big quantities, how do you store, maintain, and actually make all of this data useful somehow? In the beginning, this was a huge problem, and our conventional tools were not able to handle this data. When the volume got so excessive, it created a number of new opportunities, but also a many new challenges. And that's where the field of big data came to be. Simply because we needed a way to deal with huge amounts of data and be able to make it useful, and our conventional tools were not able to handle it. Now, more formally, big data refers to huge amounts of data in various forms, and because of its size, it requires specific techniques and tools to manage it. Big data is not just about the amount itself, it's also about managing all sorts of data types simultaneously, and also the generation of new data, because it's not just a one-time thing. Some companies today are generating so much data all the time, like think about Apple with their billions of devices generating data all the time. They need to gather, store, and deal with all of this data, and with it being generated in real time, so it's not just about existing data. For all of these reasons, it's no wonder that this field is so complex and offers many great job opportunities, because companies simply need people to help them with this. Big data can also be used in healthcare, for example, to analyze patient data for better treatment plans, and here it's not about just one patient, but perhaps millions of patients to find patterns and draw conclusions and, you know, find things that could help improve the treatment of everyone at the healthcare facilities. Big data can also be used in retail, we can analyze someone's purchasing behavior, but if we really want to find the best insights, we have to look at thousands or even hundreds of thousands of their customers and their purchases overall, instead of just looking at one person. That's how we really find what the data is trying to tell us, so that we can understand these, you know, big customer buying patterns and sell more of our products and make more money for the company. But even more traditional industries, they use big data as well. For example, in banks, Banking. There are millions of transactions happening every single minute, and not enough people to, you know, sit around and verify them by hand. Therefore, they built a lot of algorithms and stuff to detect fraudulent activities and stop potential threats and scammers. And it's absolutely critical for our financial system to work. And can you guess how they built all of these security procedures? Well, they've analyzed millions of transactions. Now, what kind of jobs can you get if you want to work in big data? And this is very interesting because there are both jobs that are specific to big data, but there are also many jobs that kind of use these big data skills in their work to accomplish things. So it's not just, hey, you know, work in big data and that's it. Now you could become a big data engineer. And as you might have heard, the job title is kind of similar to data engineer. And it's relatively similar, but you're working specifically with big data. And they basically specialize in designing implementing and managing big data infrastructure, as well as any other tools used. And to get a job as a big data engineer, you'll often need a degree or some experience in data science, for example, as a data engineer. And you should be very familiar with, you know, databases, cloud computing, and big data technologies overall. Your work is really important because issues and mistakes when dealing with these huge data sets can lead to enormous amounts of problems in the future. You could also become a data scientist. Now, they often deal with large and more complex data sets as well, and some of these would even qualify as big data. Now, to become a data scientist, you will need some skills in statistical analysis, machine learning, predictive modeling, as well as a programming language and different tools to do your job, and often a degree too. Now, you can become a data scientist even without a degree, but it's certainly not going to be easy by any means, and you may have to go about it a little bit differently. So what does the future of big data actually look like? Well, we're generating more data all the time at a faster pace, and that's why the future is actually big data. We'll need more efficient ways of storing this data, dealing with the data, but perhaps most importantly, using the data. So I think getting into big data is definitely a future-proof career. Now, there are many ways to get started in big data, 
Some people recommend taking data science courses, you know, focusing on data engineering specifically. There are many different good and affordable free courses out there, and I will leave some resources in the description as well. Thanks for watching this video. Please drop a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And also somewhere on the screen here, there should be another video that I think you might be interested in, or at least the YouTube algorithm thinks so. So check it out somewhere over here.